Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to change the color of an eye. This can be any eye, um, a dog eye, a cat eye, or more commonly a human eye. <laughs> um, so to get started, um, you first want to zoom in on your eye. You can do this, do this by clicking Z on your keyboard or by clicking the magnifying glass towards the left of your screen. Make sure there's a plus in the center and zoom in. Center the eye so it's easier to work with. Next, you want to add a layer, which is very simple. Just go up to the top of your taskbar, click on Layer, New, Layer. You can rename this layer whatever you'd like, but I usually just keep it as Layer 1 and click OK. Next, click on your brush tool, which is also towards the left of your screen. And choose your color by double clicking on the color box almost all the way towards the bottom. You can blend your color by using these levers here, or you can type in the color if you've already used it before. Um, I'm going for a green look. Um, and if you are doing an eye, I suggest using the bottom half of this box just because it looks more realistic. So once you have your desired color, click OK and start by filling in the eye. Now for this brush tool, I should have told you this before, um, you can change the size of it by either using your bracket keys. Your bracket keys are not the parentheses key. They are to the right of the P key and underneath the backspace key. You can change the size of your brush by doing that or by clicking up here um, and measuring your diameter and hardness. For the, an eye of this quality, I suggest a hardness of 60 and a diameter of 80. So just continue to color and cover in the entire eye. Um, messiness doesn't really matter, neatness doesn't really matter, um, because no matter what, you're going to erase something later on. So you can be as messy as you'd like. Cover it in the entire eye, even the pupil. And once you have what you think is some good work, go over towards the right of your screen in your workspace where your layers are. And for the spunning mode, it's automatically set to normal. You want to change that to color. And automatically you can see that we have a green eye, but it still looks really fake. So we're going to change the opacity, which is just the right of the blending options. And get, and basically this is how much green, well in this case how much green is going to cover the brown eye. So um, I'm going for like a hazel look, so I'm going to probably put it around 50. Alright, so we're almost done. Just next, take your eraser tool, and again I suggest a diameter of 80, but a hardness of only 30. Then go around the eye and erase the mistakes that you've made. And if you accidentally erase some of the color of the eye that you want, simply just click on your brush tool again and cover in the spots that you accidentally erased. Also, I'm going to ask you to erase the pupil just so it looks more realistic, so it doesn't look like you have a green colored pupil. Even though it looks kind of black, this will definitely give it more realistic make it look more realistic. The only thing left to do is to zoom out. Again, you can do this by clicking on the Z key on your keyboard or by clicking on the magnifying glass. This time you're going to want the minus in the center and simply zoom out and save if you'd like. Um, that's about it. I will be making more tutorials for YouTube. Um, I hope this really helped and I hope you enjoyed it and happy editing. Oh.